this video, I will show you how to install the real motor wheel. First, remove your rim wheel from your bike, and then put our real motor wheel on your on the real part. And you need to stretch the frame a little bit by human force so it can fit in. And then do some testing. Stretch the frame a little. Okay, so let's remove the motor wheel. We miss the important part, the spacer. We also call it a washer. There is two piece washer. You need to uh, install it in correct way. So it will be perfectly fit on your rear wheel. Try it again. Do some adjustment. Stretch the frame a little bit and spin the motor wheel. How to mount washer spacer for motor wheel? Here it is necessary to put the wheel with motor and watch out because if you put it backwards, the scooter goes backwards. I say this because it happened to me. Holy shit, it goes backwards. So before you put the wheel on and squeeze it, make sure it goes the right way. I haven't seen any indicator that days, forward or on this side, or things like that, like on car tiles. But well, maybe there's one and I haven't seen it. Another important thing, which seems stupid, is the placement of the washers. There is a flat one that goes inside, and another with flange that goes outside with the slot where the hole is, so that the wheel move when it turns, then tighten the knot. I would tighten it a little, then climb on top so it stays well put and then finish tightening it. It also includes some plastic pieces, which apart from decoration serve to avoid scratching the bike if you leave it on the ground. It is best to check that everything works. In this case, it worked and it reaches up to 72 km per hour. With a 48 volt battery, it would reach 60 like the 